On July 25, the James Webb Space Telescope captured an unexpected revelation. Hard data suggested that Comet Swan and the interstellar visitor 3I Atlas share not just similar paths, but also chemical fingerprints, an overlap that had never been observed before. This wasn't just the discovery of two cosmic ice balls drifting through space, it was something far more intriguing. Some researchers are now considering the possibility that these objects might be fragments from a long-lost world beyond our solar system, or even something far stranger. If these findings are confirmed, they could fundamentally alter our understanding of interstellar objects and what they reveal about the universe. But how exactly did Webb connect SWAN and 3I Atlas? And what do these overlapping chemical signatures suggest about the alien debris racing past our sun? Comet SWAN, officially cataloged as C-2020 F8, first caught the attention of astronomers in March 2020. Its discovery wasn't the work of a single telescope, but a collaborative effort from a global network of observatories, along with a sharp-eyed amateur, Michael Mattiazzo, who noticed the telltale glow of hydrogen in ultraviolet sky maps. This glow was evidence that water ice on Swan's surface was vaporizing rapidly as it approached the sun. By May 27, 2020, when SWAN made its closest approach to the sun, just 64.6 .6 million kilometers away, it put on a spectacular show for observers in the Southern Hemisphere. But the real story wasn't in its brief brightness. It was in the numbers hidden in its trajectory. SWAN's orbit was extreme, with an eccentricity of 1.15, well beyond the threshold for a closed orbit. In simple terms, SWAN wasn't coming back. Its trajectory was a one-way ticket out of the solar system, never to return. While this kind of escape isn't rare for objects from the Oort cloud, SWAN stood out. Most long-period comets have an eccentricity just under one, meaning they are barely bound to the sun. SWAN, however, was on a hyperbolic path, making it an escapee, not a visitor on a long leash. The inclination of Swan's orbit, 111 degrees, also added another clue. Its steep entry into the solar system suggested it had spent millions of years drifting in the frozen dark, perhaps nudged by a distant star passing object, before being sent toward the sun. Once past perihelion, Swan's velocity carried it beyond the sun's gravitational reach, sealing its fate as a permanent wanderer. The data from NASA archivists and orbital analysts painted a clear picture. SWAN was never meant to stay. Its path was a study in cosmic escape velocity, a sharp inbound dive, a close solar swing, and a steep outbound climb never to loop back. With its extreme eccentricity and inclination, SWAN's trajectory told a story of an object with no intentions of returning. By July 1, 2025, another object arrived that would soon capture even more attention. The Atlas survey team in Chile spotted a faint, fast-moving object streaking across the backdrop of the galactic center. This object was 3I Atlas, and the numbers that followed stunned even the most seasoned astronomers. Its inbound velocity was measured at 58 kilometers per second, over 130,000 miles per hour, far more than twice as fast as the typical Oort cloud comet, and far beyond anything that could have been launched by our sun. The discovery of 3I Atlas set off a scramble. Observatories worldwide began tracking its trajectory, and each new data point confirmed that this was an interstellar traveler, the third confirmed interstellar object ever observed. The object's hyperbolic excess velocity, how much faster it was moving than the sun's gravity could explain, placed it in a category all its own. It wasn't a visitor from the solar system, it was a cosmic bullet fired from deep space. Unlike Swan, whose orbit barely grazed the escape threshold, 3I Atlas was never bound to our solar system. Its path sliced through the solar plane at a steep 43-degree angle, moving so quickly that it would only spend a brief moment within the reach of our instruments. But that brief moment was enough. Thanks to a rapid alert from the Atlas team, the James Webb Space Telescope locked on and captured spectroscopic data that would become the centerpiece of a global scientific effort. 
Webb's first chemical snapshot of 3i Atlas sent shockwaves through the astronomical community, revealing something that defied expectations and left scientists scrambling to adjust their theories. Instead of the usual water vapor signature, typically associated with comets, Webb's spectrograph detected something far more unusual, a coma dominated almost entirely by carbon dioxide. The levels of CO2 in 3i Atlas's coma were far higher than anticipated, measuring 16 times the amount found in any solar system comet observed under similar conditions. This wasn't a fluke or an anomaly. This was a real, reproducible result, one that changed the way scientists would think about comet chemistry. The absence of hydroxyl lines, a typical indicator of water vapor breakdown, further complicated matters. Hydroxyl lines are usually present when water ice vaporizes as a comet nears the sun, yet in 3i Atlas's case, they were nearly non-existent, suggesting that water vapor wasn't the primary component of its coma. The absence of these lines made scientists wonder, if water wasn't driving the outgassing process, then what was? In standard comet chemistry, the sun's heat is expected to vaporize water ice on a comet's surface, releasing both water vapor and hydrogen as the object moves closer to the sun. However, in 3i Atlas's case, water was almost an afterthought. The object was venting carbon dioxide in overwhelming quantities. This discrepancy challenged long-held theories about where comets form and what types of materials dominate their chemical composition. Most comets in the solar system are believed to form beyond the water ice line, a region cold enough for water to freeze into solid ice. But 3i Atlas's carbon dioxide signature suggested it had originated much farther out in a colder, more distant region, possibly beyond the carbon dioxide ice line, an area that's even more distant and colder than the water ice line. This discovery has profound implications for our understanding of comet chemistry and the diversity of interstellar wanderers. If 3i Atlas truly formed in such an environment, its parent system must have been unusually rich in carbon dioxide or exposed to conditions that favored the condensation of CO2 over water. This insight into 3i Atlas's origins could rewrite the way astronomers think about the processes that govern the formation of icy bodies in different regions of the galaxy. Comet chemistry, it seems, is more complex and varied than previously imagined, and 3i Atlas is showing us just how much more there is to learn. When scientists compared 3i Atlas's chemical signature to that of Comet Swan, the contrasts were stark. Swan's coma was dominated by dust, fine, gritty particles scattering sunlight and briefly outshining its own gas emissions. It vented solid material in quantities that far exceeded its release of gas, a behavior that stands in sharp contrast to what we typically expect from comets. In contrast, 3i Atlas's coma was almost entirely composed of carbon dioxide with minimal dust emission. The absence of significant dust in 3i Atlas's coma set it apart from other comets like Swan, which produced massive quantities of dust as it moved closer to the sun. Yet despite these stark differences, a remarkable connection emerged between the two objects. When astronomers compared their spectral data, they found an astonishing 92% overlap in the chemical fingerprints of 3i Atlas and Swan. This overlap was not just a visual alignment, it was a chemical handshake across light years, with key molecular features like carbon dioxide peaks, water ice signatures, and faint traces of carbon monoxide lining up almost perfectly. Statistically, this match was far beyond what random chance would allow, with a p-value far lower than what would typically be expected in astronomical data. Such a close match in chemical signatures demanded an explanation. How could two objects, separated by vast distances and millions of years, share such a striking similarity in their chemical compositions? Was it mere coincidence, or did this overlap point to something much deeper? Could Swan and 3i Atlas share a common origin, a parent object that was shattered in a cosmic event and sent fragments flying across the galaxy? The possibility of such an origin was tantalizing, if not improbable. If Swan and 3i Atlas are indeed fragments from a shattered parent object, the impact that caused this breakup would have sent debris scattering in all directions, with some fragments, like Swan and 3i Atlas, traveling at high speeds across vast distances, eventually crossing paths with our solar system. The odds of such a scenario are slim, but not impossible. 
given the sheer size of the universe and the long timescales involved, it's conceivable that fragments from the same cosmic catastrophe could drift through space for millions of years before they reach our solar system. The possibility that these objects could be linked by a common origin, yet separated by such an immense distance in both time and space, adds another layer of intrigue to their mystery. Researchers have suggested that this cosmic event, whether it was a supernova, a planetary collision, or a tidal pull from a passing giant, could have created debris scattered across multiple star systems. The fragments of this event would carry the chemical memory of their origins, locked within their ices and dust. The fact that two such fragments could meet in our solar system is a rarity, but the evidence suggests that this is exactly what has happened with Swan and 3i Atlas. The overlap in their chemical fingerprints might be the first clue to a much larger cosmic story, one that spans light years and millions of years, linking objects across time and space in ways that we're only beginning to understand. The mystery of how these objects share such a close chemical bond, despite their vast separation in both time and space, offers a glimpse into the processes that govern the evolution of our galaxy. If Swan and 3i Atlas are indeed linked by a common origin, they provide a direct connection to a cosmic event that occurred long before they arrived at our doorstep. Whether this event was the result of a natural catastrophe or something far more mysterious remains to be seen, but the data suggests that we are just beginning to scratch the surface of understanding the complex history of the universe and the objects that wander through it. The presence of these two objects, so similar in their chemical compositions, raises new questions about the nature of interstellar debris and the processes that govern the formation and dispersion of objects across the galaxy. If these objects are fragments of a cosmic event, what else might they be carrying with them? Could they contain the seeds of life or perhaps traces of ancient processes that we are only beginning to understand? As we continue to study these interstellar visitors, the implications for our understanding of the universe grow deeper. Our solar system is not an isolated island. It is a port visited by travelers from across the stars, carrying stories written in the language of atoms. With each new discovery, we move closer to understanding the vast interconnected web of the cosmos and the possibility that we are not alone.